In this video, I'm going to show you how to do multi-select. We've been using drag select, which is the icon down at the bottom left-hand corner of the little finger, which is very helpful when you need to select something that's all together. But what happens when you need to try to select something where there are spaces in between or something is on one side of the object and what you need to select is on the other side? For instance, if I needed to select all of these particular faces here, drag select wouldn't do a good job. If I tried to drag select these by clicking on the icon, starting at this one, you'll notice I'm selecting a lot more than what I need to select. I'm selecting the sides of some of these, the faces on the sides, as well as some in here. Not a really good way of selecting that. However, you can do individual select. And you won't really see any icon on the screen that tells you this, but it is a hand gesture. If I go back and click on the drag select, I'll go ahead and select one of these faces. Take two fingers and hold them down on the screen. And then now I can select any other shapes that I need. And this is just with two fingers held down on the screen. I've already first selected drag select, two fingers down, and then simply select what I need. If I select something I don't need, still with two fingers down, just hot, click it again and it'll deselect. And this will allow you to make multiple selections. The great thing about this is let's say I wanted to select those but then also needed to select some things on the side. I could take those same two fingers, hold them down again, and then I can automatically go and make those selections. You'll notice that when you have something selected, as long as everything is still highlighted, when you put those two fingers down, you'll notice that it kind of does a little shifting and that's kind of letting you know that it is recognizing that multiple select is down and you'll be able to make those additional selections.